So hey guys, this is another video tutorial of Windows system programming and in this video tutorial we are going to see the timer queue in Windows. So basically timer queue, it is a queue for the timers and timer in this queue is known as timer queue timers. Queue timers are light weighted kernel object which reside in timer queue and this timer so timer queue enable us to specify the callback function to be called when the specified due time arrives. The wait operation performed by a threads in Windows thread pool which is provided by the OS. We will use this thing in our program. And we don't create our timer queue. Instead of we put our queue timers into default timer queue which is provided by the Windows. We'll see how we are going to be do that. The application of timer queue is if we want high precision and low overhead then we can use this timer queue. If you see the working of the timer queue, so here there is a name is my timer queue. I am putting here in empty queue. There is a timer queue which is reside in kernel and in this uh, timer queue we are providing the time interval for the timer. And then this worker thread, this one is the timer worker thread we have taken from the thread pool which will perform the wait operation after completion of execution this timer will expire and then it notify to the kernel and then fifth step is we are going to delete our timer queue so this one is the windows api first one is the create timer queue basically we are going to create the timer queue then create timer queue timer that means we are going to queue for our timers wait or timer callback this one is the timer callback function change timer queue timer if you want to update timer time then we can use that function delete timer queue simply it will delete the our timer queue timer and then delete timer queue it will delete the queue for the timer both the working of both api is almost same wait for single object it for closing the handle for the event then we have created will create one event also so if you are not aware of how to create event then check tutorial number 22 and the 23 for the create auto reset and manual reset event. So this one is the important link provided in description box. So this one is the example they have provided here. And uh, this one is the create timer queue function. Basically it creates a queue for the timer. This function, uh, the return type of that function is the handle and it does not contain any argument if you check the return value if it fails the return value is null this one is the create timer queue timer function this one is a very important create the timer queue timer this timer expire at the specified due time then after every specified period if you see here the first one is the pointer to the handle of new timer that means a pointer to a buffer that receives a handle to the timer queue timer on return. So we have to create the one timer for that. And this one is the timer queue handle. Uh, create timer queue. We have to pass this handle to this one. Then callback function. I'll explain later this thing. This one, if you pass any parameter, then you can use that. Otherwise, put it here null. Due time. Here we have to provide our time interval. And this one is the period if you check here the period of the timer in millisecond if this parameter is zero the timer is signaled only once if this parameter is greater than zero this timer is periodic so we'll see both and this one is the flag so by default i'll use that i uh, i'll use that this execute default and we'll see there are so many flags are there so return value if you check the return value zero if function fails timer callback function it takes the two uh, two argument first one is the parameter second one is the timer or wait file and the return type of that function is the boolean if you see here the description if this parameter is true the wait timeout if this parameter is false then the wait event has been signaled and generally this parameter is always true for the timer callback so no need to worry about that only we have to check the condition and at the last we are going to use the delete timer queue function if you see here they have already written here this function is absolute and has been replaced by the delete timer queue x function so this you can use otherwise you can use also and this one is a change timer queue timer function 
सो बेसिकली अपडेट ए टाइमर क्यू टाइमर दैट वॉज क्रिएटेड बाई द क्रिएट टाइमर क्यू टाइमर फंक्शन सो इट टेक्स द आर्ग्यूमेंट फॉर द टाइमर क्यू देन हैंडल फॉर द टाइमर दिस वन इज द न्यू टाइमर ड्यू टाइम एंड पीरियड सेम थिंग वॉट एवर वी हैव सीन इन क्रिएट टाइमर क्यू टाइमर सो इफ यू सी द प्रोग्रामिंग आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न इयर द सम लोकल वेरिएबल दिस वन इज द टाइमर विच प्रोवाइड द बफर फॉर आवर टाइमर क्यू सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड द इवेंट हियर सो आई एम डायरेक्टली आई एम जम्पिंग टू स्टेप टू स्टेप टू वी हैव टू क्रिएट द टाइमर क्यू सो क्रिएट टाइमर क्यू दिस फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन हैज नो आर्ग्यूमेंट देन स्टेप थ्री इज सेट ए टाइमर टू कॉल द टाइमर रूटीन इन फाइव सेकेंड so we have to create the timer queue timer function the first argument is we have to pass the h timer i have already created here h timer second one is the handle for the timer queue so this handle we have to pass it here third argument is the wait or timer callback this one is the timer worker thread so the name is wait or timer callback so just i'm writing here but the type is wait timer callback why i have written here type casted if you check this function the type of that function is wait or timer callback so that's why that's why i have type casted this value then if you want to pass any parameter no so i'll put it here null due time let's say here i am putting 5 second so 5000 millisecond equal to 5 second then period no so here i am putting only zero this timer will execute only once and then the flag is also zero this one is the default then after that i am checking the condition here then step 4 is timer is calling there is a simple see out statement here now we have to perform here the wait operation so i'll use here wait for single object and for the event here this event will notify the timer and millisecond so here default value is infinite i am putting here i have used this function so many times in my previous tutorial then we are closing the handle so closing the handle for event so h event then step 7 is we have to delete the timer queue so directly i am using b delete timer queue handle for the timer queue so h timer queue then we are we are checking the condition now jump to the our worker thread so here i am checking this condition if callback function called by timer callback function if this parameter is true otherwise we have to write here else case by event and now here we are setting the event so there is a set event function we have to pass the global handle here what will happen in this case suppose if the timer expire then this function will execute and this set event we have already created the event in non signal state so it will set the event to signal state and then here it will complete the wait operation 
then it will close that event and this timer delete the timer queue this one is the complete operation of that so try to build this code will succeeded and just so after 5 second it will execute see the call by the timer callback function and delete timer queue success so how to call this uh, timer in some periodic fun way so suppose here i am writing 4 second and here i am putting 2 second so what will happen in this case and thus change this flag also let's say i am putting here execute timer thread here if you see it invoked by the timer itself so what will happen in this case just build and run this code the timer will call after 4 second so see here the timer is called by called two times and then after that here we are getting the error why timer has already expired but the operation is not complete so that's why that's why we are getting 997 you can check in this error tool if you put here 997 so it will show that overlap io operation is in progress so operation was in progress so it can't delete the timer queue after completion of that this timer queue this delete timer queue function success so hope you like this video Thanks for watching this video, do hit comment, share and subscribe this channel.